Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I've got you an arms and legs workout and we're going to be focusing on strengthening, toning and lengthening your body and we're going to be focusing on strength training moves infused with Pilates and I'm sure you're going to love it and you're going to feel accomplished and challenged and you're going to walk away with a whole new appreciation for your strength and stamina. And for this class, all you just need is a mat and one dumbbell ranging from 0.5 to 1 kilogram. But if you don't have access to at home, you can use one 500 ml water bottle filled up with water. And once you're ready, roll out your mats. I want you to find a nice seated comfortable position on the mat you can sit on the mat or you can sit on your legs like so and we're going to work the arms first you're going to take it out to the shoulder level bend your elbows a bit and we're going to be working the arms in front i want you to close and open nice straight back engaging the core and keeping the arms nice and stiff do not wobble it out and watch the breathing pattern here. I'm inhaling, close, exhaling, open. Inhale, close, exhale, open. Exhaling is always with the mouth. And that way we're getting the core engagement. Last 10 seconds on this. And then we're gonna switch. And switching the move, you're gonna rotate forward rotate back okay going in for internal rotation for the arm in that way we're working the shoulder beds your chest i'm sure you're able to feel the burn already just working our body weight you guys but really thinking to tone strengthen and lengthening the body And no break as of yet, I want you to bring both your arms in front of you, palms facing each other. You're going to rotate on either sides. Last 30 seconds to go, keep pushing through. Wonderful work. I'm sure your arms are on fire for the next move. Just raise yourselves up onto the knees. Curl the toes underneath and I'm going to work the arms up over the head and drop down. Again, make sure the back is kept straight. You're just working your arms. Keep the rest of your body nice and intact. And we're going to incorporate the legs as well for this move. You're going to simply dip down towards your legs and raise yourself up. Watch the arm in sync with the glutes. I want you to take it at your very own pace. Curl the toes underneath. In that way, you have more balance and control. We just have last 20 seconds on this, you guys. Keep pushing through. This is another beautiful variation of doing a squat, but in a very low impact way. This works your booty, your thighs. and relax back down great work i want you to go in for a quick stretch just for some neck work just drop your head down on either sides and now going in for shoulder rolls behind rolling the shoulder blades behind and take it forward And we have made it to the last move for circuit number one prayer pulses for this i want you to take elbows together palms together up to the shoulder level 
and you're going to pulse it up and drop down try to pulse it up 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 keep breathing engaging the core showing you all another angle and that way you get it right do not open your arms at any point just glue them together and switching we're going pulsing two up and two down pulsing up for one two pulsing down for one two up for one two down for one two I'm sure your arms are on fire right now, but it really, really tones and strengthens your arms, your chest, your back. So everything is at work. Last 10 seconds on this. Keep pushing through. Great one, getting onto the tabletop position for circuit number two. This is where the dumbbell comes to play. I want you to place the dumbbell at reach and we're going to be doing some core strengthening and arm um, work for this grab the dumbbell onto the left arm place your right down to the mat your leg is open to a comfortable distance and once you're ready you're going to raise the dumbbell up over your head and you're just going to hold it here for 30 seconds Love, love these kind of moves. Very low impact, but it tones your body real good. Keep pushing through. Just hold it up. We just have last few seconds on this. All right, let's switch the move. You're going to be doing tricep extension for the same hand. You're going to take it up, extend out with the dumbbell and exhale back center. So the key point for tricep extension is do not open out your elbow. Try to keep it closer towards your body and keep extending out. Keep the entire body nice and stiff. Last five seconds on this. And let's switch this time grabbing the dumbbell to the right hand and extending it out for the core hold exhale exhale with your mouth and stay here 30 seconds on this Stay with me for the tricep extension. Take it out, extend and to the center. Extend and center. Do not fly out your elbow. Keep it closer to your body. Last 20 seconds. Wonderful work moving on to some leg work for this I want you to get yourself onto the elbows and I want you to bring both your knees in towards each other curling the toes underneath and I want you to extend for your left leg point the toes underneath bend the knee and we're going to be working a Pilates move as you extend curl it in and drop back so that's the move we're going to be doing 30 seconds of this try to lengthen your leg out point the toes underneath and keep your core engaged watch my breathing pattern And take the time to switch this time pointing for the right leg extend and drop back in I'm sure you're able to feel your leg already beautiful lengthening work without bulking up just toning with your body weight last 10 seconds you guys keep pushing through
and slowly raising yourselves up we just have two more moves for circuit number two we're going to be working the upper body this time onto the palms and we're going to be doing shoulder taps just marching the hands as you tap your shoulders alternating the taps keep breathing 30 seconds of this Beautiful work for the core as well if you engage it. Try to pull the belly button into your spine and that way you know it is engaged. And last move for circuit number two, we're going to be doing push-ups, the modified push-ups for this get on your knees. I want you to drop your hip down in that way your body is in a straight line and you're simply going to go in for the push-ups. Work at your very own pace knowing your fitness and your strength levels. You can go down as deep as you can or just stay to the point where you feel comfortable as long as you keep moving. Nice, slow, gentle push-ups as you exhale with your mouth. Great work, you're going to sit back for a resting pose, for child's resting pose. Drop your glutes down to your leg and extend your arms in front and drop your forehead down to the mat and rest here until you hear the next beep. And you're gonna have one minute break please feel free to sip some water have a breather and get back once you're ready for circuit number three and four Starting strong for circuit number three, we're going to do this entire circuit on the side lying position. Lie down to the left side, extending your right. Grab your dumbbell and you're going to extend the dumbbell up. And point the toes underneath and we are going to fly out. As you open the leg, I want you to drop down the arm towards your leg and extend it right over. 30 seconds of this nice, gentle, slow, precise move as you put the entire engagement on your core and your upper body. And try not to bend the knee as well. And last one and switch. I want you to bend both your legs and keep it intact. Just working the upper body for the next 30 seconds. Drop it down and extend it out. Beautiful work for your upper body, for your back, for your chest. With the resistance, it's going to give you great toning. Well for work you guys, for the next one drop the dumbbell down, we're going to work just the body weight for the next one, you're going to lift the right leg up, you're going to tuck it in, extend, drop down, tap and to the center. So that's the move, tuck it in, extend, drop down and up.
and time to switch for the next move you're going to be performing by cycles just cycling the leg out as shown nice gentle circles working forward and back make sure you keep that upper body nice and stiff do not slouch forward we have last 15 seconds of this move And last one and relax tap it down great work you guys switch to the other side this time down to the right and working for the left leg grab the dumbbell extend it over the head and let's work the first move you're gonna wing it out swing the leg up as well as your arm beautiful work for your arm for your leg and as well as for your core as you can see we're crunching so that's going to work the sides of your core and time to switch the move i want you to bend both your knees as we drop the arm in front and pulse it up and down work through the air in between and try to work with the resistance try to work with the dumbbell I know it is hard but you're really gonna feel accomplished by the end of it so keep pushing through And slowly drop the dumbbell back down we're just gonna work the leg for the next one extending the left leg pointing the toes underneath and going in for our leg tap move you're gonna extend tap down and bend your knee beautiful work for your quads for the back of the thigh for your calves nice long lean muscles without bulking up And we're gonna switch the move for the next 30 seconds we're gonna perform cycles by cycle try to cycle out at your very own pace as you bend the knee and free flow it out point the toes underneath you have made it to the last and final circuit for this class i want you to lay yourselves down chest down flip yourself and we're going to perform some moves that's going to work the arms as well as your back so it's a bonus try to lift your arms up keep the arms closer towards your body and we're going to do the flip move you're going to flip pulse up flip pulse up so watch the arm rotation that i'm doing we're going to do this for 30 seconds and try to look down do not look up and that way we're not straining the neck we have last 10 seconds you guys keep pushing through we're gonna be doing a pulsing move after this so get ready for that and now you're gonna pulse 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 for 10 9 8 7 6 5 four three two and one now flip and pulse again for ten nine eight seven six five four three two and one great work you guys now grab the dumbbell and for the next move you're going to extend it out okay you're going to lift both your legs and you're going to form the boat Try to lengthen your legs and they're going to hold it here for 10 seconds. Just keep breathing and just hold it nice and strong. And relax back down. Wonderful work, you guys. Just rest for a few seconds. 
still holding on to the dumbbell we're going to perform another move for this i want your legs together nice and straight extend the dumbbell out to the front like so and pull it back towards you extend as you exhale inhale as you bring it back you're not moving your legs at any point you're just working the arms for this one nice precise move as shown do not rush it up work at your very own pace we are working to strengthening toning your arms and your back great work i am so proud of you if you're sticking along with me really looking to strengthen our body and build up stamina i want you to rest yourselves down for a few seconds before we move on We just have two more moves to finish off this circuit and this class on the whole. For the next one, you're going to take your arms right next to your body like so. We're going to be doing a back strengthening Pilates move for all the work that we did. Lifting your legs off the mat, your chest off the mat as well, just a tiny bit. And your arms are right beside you, palms facing up to the sky. You're going to hold it here without lifting the head. You're going to stay down breathing. Just relax yourselves down, place your forehead down, close your eyes and breathe a few seconds. You're going in for a leg booty and back work for this i want you to bend your right leg like so flexing the foot of the left and pointing your right leg i want you to slowly pulse it up and down so this is the scorpion pike in pilates great to tone your legs your booty your glutes and great to strengthen your back as well so it is a functional move working on multiple muscle groups You are bending your left leg, pointing the toes underneath as shown and simply pulse it up. You're going to lift the leg to the point where it feels good for you. wonderful wonderful work i am so glad if you sticked along with me till the end and completed these four circuits for arms and legs we're going to finish off the class with some cool down stretches please stay along with me till the end you're going to bend both your knees get hold of your legs and you're just going to hold it here for the quad stretch And slowly releasing back we are going in for the upward facing dog pressing the palms down and reaching the body up you can gaze up to the sky if that feels good for you just for a beautiful back stretch opening up for the chest and slowly raise yourselves onto the tabletop position and we're going to perform the pelvic circles very important to stretch out your back and your pelvic area for all the work that you did you're simply going to draw circles in one direction as you hunch your back dropping down the pelvis and returning back doing the same great to massage your lower body out And I want you to reverse the rotations, take it to the other direction. Mm -hmm. 
moving on to the cat and the cow stretch i want you to curl your back chin drops down to the chest as you reach your spine up to the sky you're going to hold it here inhale and exhale arching the back gazing up to the sky inhaling down as you curl and exhaling arch the back as you go in for the spinal wave i want you to continue to do this until you hear the next beep at your very own pace And one last final stretch to finish off. You're going to be getting back to the child's resting pose. Flex the foot underneath, reach your glutes down to your legs, extend your arms in front of the mat and just connect yourselves with breathing as you close your eyes. You're going to stay here for mindful breathing, relaxing and unwinding your body until you hear the last and final beat. And well done I really hope you enjoyed this class and you feel a lot stronger and more toned by doing this arms and legs workout with me if you like this video please do leave me a comment and share this video with a friend or a family member and please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you so much for working out along with me today until next time stay fit healthy and happy